What's up, everybody? Episode 16 of the local, not the local, the global, of the Thrive War series. I am J Mac Gaming. That, of course, is Chad Talks. And we are here booking Monday Raw. Monday Night Raw, not Monday, Monday. Raw. Let's go. Oh, locker room incident. Shawn Michaels. Let's see. He's gotten a lot of heat with the rest of the locker room after boasting loudly about how much you were making. Hmm. Fine it. Fine you, fuckhead. Jesus Christ. Maybe wow. He, maybe he shouldn't. Oh man, that's probably not the smartest move. Yeah. I would, was, He's probably wow. Gonna fucking leave me now. But hey. Shawn Michaels is leaving. In and come into WCW. Look, I'm not a bitch when it comes to... I'm not going to slap him on the wrist like WCW does. I'm going to lay... Well, you're, you're dumb. <laughs> you, you're the one who lost Piper. Because he was bullied. It was not my choice. <laughs> you purposely find Shawn Michaels. Maybe you shouldn't be a cockhead. Book your shell. Make sure you uh, take the title off Shawn because he's going to be leaving you soon. <laughs> no, we won't. I'll give him a hundred grand. Paul uh, Roma. Who did I, I only, sign? I only I only find you in front of the boys. Here's your money. Go pay the fine. <laughs> who who did I sign to Barry Horowitz? Barry fucking Horowitz. Pre show match. Man, what a ma- what a, what a match. Pre show title. Um, we'll see. All right, let's go straight into. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the promo. The Cruiserweight Classic match. Flash phone. Cruiserweight Classic match? Versus Norman Smiley. Seven minutes. Car crash. Boom, boom, boom. I think, I think Flash Funk is going to get the win. And then we're going to have a... A... I guess... I guess we're going to... Singles... Flash Funk's just gonna talk shit on Taka, but Taka can't understand because he only speaks Japanese. <laughs> Flash shoots on Taka. Six days away from the Rumble. Wow, our next shows are the Rumble. Yep. These are the go home shows then. Mm hmm. Fuck. Alright, let's go back. Uh, let's get the. Let's get my uh, first angle out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. Triple H and Ken Shamrock are on the ring. Getting a phone call, my bad. Cancel that. All right. Uh, Triple H. Triple H and Ken Shamrock argue in the ring. Out comes Vader and HBK, and they brawl. Entertainment, entertainment. 14 minutes, Sean, Vader, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, fuck, no. (laughs) Man, you were just found and determined to lose Sean Michaels. (laughs) gonna ruin the promo though because someone's not on script or someone yeah so do you not have faith in Cam- ken shamrock's vil- invader's ability to uh, improvise no well fair enough not at all we're gonna just have a uh 2v2v2 2v2 tag team match between the doa the i guess the los pericos that's awesome and the godwins I really don't care about this seven minutes. Uh, <laughs> I could care less. That's a. Uh, we're gonna have a, a backstage brawl. Road Dog, Billy Gunn, what's his name, Animal, and Cock. Go backstage brawl. We're gonna move on to the Rock. Michael. Michael. <laughs> about to tell Rock about his upcoming match. <laughs> Rock just. Rock. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding the Rock? <laughs> Rock bottoms him. What? <laughs> Fuck you, Michael Cole. Rock bottom. There we go. 
What do you think about this, Michael? I think it doesn't matter what you think. Last bottom. Selling. We're gonna get uh, the Rock. The Rock begrudgingly walks down to the ring. The ring. To... Um, uh, the Rock versus the Godfather. Oh fuck! The whole train. Old school column of. <laughs> he just says, "Mustafa, is that you?" <laughs> <laughs> the Rock gets a win. Storytelling, because you know. You gonna keep him strong? Nope. Oh, okay. Actually, I'm gonna have another pre-show match. Oh wait, no, I already had the Prince of Puerto Rico in a match. Never mind. Uh, that is th three matches. So we're gonna get Triple H and HBK tell China she's done with DX. Oh man. How, how would you feel about China and uh, WCW? I'd snatch her up in a second. I know you would. I'd make her WCW champion. I'd pull the trigger. Hulk Hogan, China, all the money, all the buys. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. Our, uh, sister. Kane and Mark. Don't you know sell my joke, you fuck. Watch me. Well, fair enough, I guess. Okay, we got Kane and D'Lo Brown. Boom. Oh man, that's what people want to see. <laughs> this is a go home brawl. If, 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 this, this is awful. We're gonna have open match, and somehow uh, Kane's not gonna be the victor. D'Lo Brown. Oh my God, the burial of Kane. <laughs> after a fucking a flash pinfall, after the burial of Kane, after a distraction from Stone Cold. <laughs> And he's fine with it. He's fine with it. We're gonna have the next. Isaac Yankum's a pro. <laughs> have a next match of Owen Hart and Mark Marrow. Yeah, Mark Marrow. Okay, I just realized the mistakes I've made making this triple threat match. That the winner gets number twenty nine. The only only way to get into the match is losing these qualification matches. <laughs> so why wouldn't you purposely lose to get another chance at number 29? What do you mean? Like, the loser of this match right here will go into the triple threat match at the Rumble, right? I thought you were just booking Owen Hart, Kane, and Steve Austin in a triple threat. Yeah, but they're losing these matches to go in that triple threat. I guess the winner's not going to get anything. I was going to say, why would... Why don't you just put them in a triple threat? Why do they have to win? Why do they have to lose qualifying matches? I don't know. You could very easily just have Owen Hart face Mark Marrow. Stone Cold screws Owen Hart because Stone Cold's a cheeky bastard. And then in the triple threat match, they're mad. They're mad at Stone Cold. Look, man, I'm going through with my uh, my plans. I don't care. Oh, okay. No one's getting a number twenty nine if they win that match. Only the loser of the match will go to number one. That's it. All right. There's no. There's no reward. I mean, I don't really care. It's not your show. I'm just talking storytelling. Keep Owen Hart strong because Mark Romero's winning. The Stone Cold losing the, the on the go home show too. He he lost last week to Mankind to get into the match. Oh, you're right. Such so I, odd, I, I I had to go such with an it. Odd, such an odd thing. Yeah, don't I don't. It's like a WCW idea. I don't really know All what right, I was. Bro, you can tell Vince Russo is booking your show. All right, bro, we're gonna have him lose. And the, and if they lose, bro, that's a qualifying match. And then we're gonna put the WWF title on David Arquette. <laughs> He's gonna win the Rumble. Chicken neck on a pole match, bro. He's gonna throw David Arquette, bro. Is gonna throw Undertaker over the top rope, bro. <laughs> um. Then he's gonna squash Shawn Michaels in 20 seconds, bro. Ahmed Johnson is. Ahmed Johnson's gonna reveal his new tag team partner for. Oh. I'm actually excited about this. Ahmed reveals. Is he doing it now or at Rumble? Yeah, he's revealing it now. Oh, good. I don't have to wait. Fuck. And you know who it is? <laughs> Vince takes off his hood. It was me, Austin. It was me all along. <laughs> it was his old. It was uh, Bradshaw's old partner, Black Jack Wyndham. Black Jack Wyndham. <laughs> I actually love that dude. <laughs> I actually really, really love that idea. 
There we go. Tap gotta... Tim White there too, because it's personal referee. <laughs> Tim, I got it. No, I can't have Tim White there, but he will be in the match. He will be. Oh, don't even have Bradshaw and Farouk in there. Just literally have Adam Johnson. No, Tim they're White, off screen, and I, I, I have to keep him for storyline, just so it advances it. Go Blackjack Wyndham. That's awesome. <sighs> and we got one more match. Actually, I'm gonna have one more promo. <laughs> Backstage beatdown. China's just fucking losing it. China's China's having a, a, a breakdown. She beat down Howard Finkel. Oh fuck! <laughs> Not the Fink. <laughs> That's how much she's lost it. She beat up the Fink. Jerry Lawler's like, oh my god, Jr. Not the Fink. Whoopies. <laughs> Whoopies. What a slobber knocker! China's delivering to Howard Finkel. <laughs> We got Triple H, Ken Shamrock for the belt. Triple H wins. That's the main event. Yes. European title main event in Raw. Size of bringing prestige to the European title. And then Vince end the show. <laughs> to end the show, Vince takes off all his clothes. <laughs> and says nothing. He just walks down butt ass naked. Looks at Triple H, and the screen goes to black. That's... We have to wonder what happened. Semi main event. Vince Don't find out on Raw. Books the co main event for Royal Rumble. Oh fuck! I'm Tr- so excited. Triple H and HBK Shit. take on Vader and Shamrock. Oh man, it's fucking Vader time, bitches. No world title match the Rumble. Interesting choice. No. Yeah. Interesting choice. You don't want you don't want the title to change hands. Right before the Rumble. Why? Because you want to know who you're going to have to take on if you win the Rumble, you know? I don't. I want, I, to, be sur- I want to be surprised. Well, get your own Rumble okay, then. Okay, bro. So we're going to have the title on the line in a tag team match, bro. And David Arquette's going to come in and replace Shawn Michaels, bro. We're going to put the title on the line at, uh, at, uh, you know, in the Rumble match. In the Rumble. Yeah. And Roman Reigns is going to win it. All right, let's let's run the show. Let's run the show. Paul Roma defeats Barry Horowitz with the flying elbow drop. He wins the belt. He keeps the belt. That's the only thing you're gonna have to const. That's gonna have the lowest prestige ever for a championship belt. It's, it's a fucking well. If he stays contracted, Roma will you know keep the belt, yeah. defending it. Yeah. Um. Starting off the show, Triple H and Ken Shamrock, they argue in the ring, out comes Fader, HBK, they brawl, you know, they start off the show hot and heavy, swinging fists and, and shit like that. Then we got a subpar, about that it's subpar wrestling in Little Heat, Flash Funk defeated Norman Smiley with a tumble lead. Uh, Norman Smiley, fucking hurt. Just distracted thigh muscle. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Just thigh muscle. What? I'm looking oh. at Sonny's ass. Leave me be. <laughs> Distracted. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Yo, bro, we're going to say that Norman Smiley's th- uh, thigh muscle was distracted, bro. <laughs> yeah, and then but... we're going to have David Arquette <laughs> take on Flash Funk for the... Hulk Hogan, life, you bald piece of shit. <laughs> ah. Flash Funk cuts a promo hyping up his own coming... Upcoming match with Taka Michinoku. Why is Taka Michinoku? <laughs> Taka capitalized. Taka Michinoku. <laughs> there we go, move on. And about that, it's up our wrestling in Little Heat. Los Pericos. Wow, good for you, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico getting his push. <laughs> a decent match. Prince of Puerto Rico having a 38, though. Savio Vega with a performance of the night. Uh, New Age Outlaws and Legion of Doom are backstage, an argument breaks out, and all four of them start brawling. Freestyle. Oh, Michael's about to tell The Rock about his upcoming Intercontinental title match, but Rock Rock bottoms him right before he says anything about it. Boom. Then we move on to, oh shit, okay, in a decent match, The Rock defeated The Godfather. The new debut Godfather after, you know, the, LO, or the uh, Nation of Domination disbanded. Uh, Kama Mufasa 
changed his gimmick, got a new name, and he's now You're the... no longer going to get him confused with Kane. <laughs> oh. And we have the Godfather now. He takes the loss in his first match, but, you know, I see good things for the Godfather. I see bright future. Um, no. I should probably... Give him a new gimmick. Pimp Light. Complete turn. Yes. Great. Complete success. I was worried about it. That's what I'm... I hate... I get so scared of turning people. I usually wait until two or three segments to change them. Okay. Um, Triple H and uh, Shawn Michaels are backstage with China, and uh, they tell her, hey, fuck you. You're out of DX. You're, you know? Um, China struggled a lot because a lot of people, other people weren't following a script. Uh, trying to look lost out there. Well, yeah, if you don't have a group anymore, you're going to look lost. <laughs> a decent match. Kane got pinned by D'Lo Brown. Ugh. Ariel of Kane. No. Not one of my proudest storylines. At least right Stone here. Cold lost a mankind. And about that, a good wrestling and fucking... reaction. Mark Marrow defeated Owen Hart. <laughs> Mark Marrow is having like the pr- is in the twilight of his career. <laughs> and Ahmed Johnson reveals his new tag team partner. I love that. And it's Bradshaw Wyndham, who wasn't it's actually, Black- it's actually Blackjack Wyndham. You did fuck. I say did I say Bradshaw Wyndham? Yeah. <laughs> Move on, and uh, China's upset. So she attacked Howard. That. She death of Fink. Look at how sad he looks. You know Howard Fink probably walked up and goes, China, uh, how do you feel about uh, D-Generation X uh, replacing you or firing you? or And then China just destroys him. And then we move on to our main event. And about that, at great wrestling and good heat, Ken Shamrock lost to Triple H via pedigree. Decent match. Great match, actually, I think. And we move on. An A <laughs> rating um, promo to end the show. I really needed that because this, this Raw sucked. <laughs> this Raw was awful. Vince books the co-main event. Triple H, Shawn Michaels taking on Vader and Shamrock at the Rumble. And then we're going to end the show. 81. I'm actually very surprised that it got an 81. <laughs> Good shit. Um, tough for WCW to beat that. So oh, it's wow. looking like the card... Will be the Rock vs. Mystery, because I still don't know. We got APA taking on Ahmed Johnson and Black Gen- Blackjack Wyndham. Uh, Edge and Christian vs. the Headbangers. Kane vs. Owen Hart vs. Austin. The loser of the match is number one. The other two will be randomized. Uh, Flash Funk vs. Taka. Taka! Taka! Mishinoku. Oh, I have a, I I written down the Undertaker vs. Mankind, but there's no build to that, so I guess that's gonna happen. Spoilers. Uh, LOD vs. N New Age Outlaws, and then Shawn Michaels Triple H vs. Vader Shamrock, and then we're gonna have the Rumble. That is the card for it. So the only thing we're missing right now is the Rock's mystery opponent. I wonder who that'll be. And the pre-show title match. Yeah, pre-show title match. Coco Beware vs. Andre the Giant. And that has been episode, what, 16? Yeah. Cody Rhodes is great. <laughs> Goodbye. R.I.P. the Bullet Club. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thank you, guys. We'll Fuck see you. They're great. We'll they're great. You. They're great. They're great. I'm, they're, you're, you'll get this on camera. You'll get this on screen. The last word will be me saying they're great. They're great. They're great. Thank you guys. We'll see you episode great. seventeen. Fucking Cody Rhodes is for the, great. For the go to go 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 home night show. Um, It'll be great. Cody Rhodes is Cody great. Rhodes. Great. Cody Rhodes is great. So is Bullet Club. Fuck you, Ryback. Right